Hi friends, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Safe Mama, letsafemama.com. I am going to give you a tour of my kitchen. It's not what you think. <laughs> so this is my kitchen today. It's been this way for about a year. Um, Cause we can't afford to finish the renovation that had to happen when we had to replace the roof. We spent all our money on the roof. Anyway, but I thought there would be some fun things that um, you be interested in outside of the fact that we don't have walls and we don't really have a floor and we don't really have a ceiling, but we have a bunch of other stuff that you might be interested in. So there's a piece of toaster. I don't really care about those things so too much. My husband uses it. I think it was like $10. We have a $300 toaster that needs a repair that we got for $10 <coughs> a long time ago at a, um, Goodwill. And I don't know where this crock came from. It is lead free. And there's our utensils that are all lead free. And I love my baskets that I get at the farmer's market and local um, farm store. Those are lead free. And then this is, I posted about this. I, we, I love this. It's not perfect. It was fairly inexpensive. This sticks a little. It's got a magnet, so it's supposed to stick. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not fine woodworking, but man, is it useful and it really is great for storing bread. Ha, who knew a bread box? And then we got this, this our um, compost thing, which was just washed and our toaster oven. I don't like toaster ovens. I don't have a concern for lead in toaster ovens. This is a very dirty toaster oven. Um, it has all the stainless steel. Um, our instant pot, our instant pot blender. This is a, cutting board we got at the Saturday market years ago from an artist. I don't know where that cutting board come from. It does have lead on the end and so we don't use it. I don't know why it's still in the kitchen. Um, this is our lead free sink that we bought when we moved into the house and it's an American standard but I will say well this has been here 15 years. Um, it does chip. The, the lead free finish does chip but it is 15 years old and it's been abused by a lot of kids. <clears throat> and um Somebody asked about my coffee grinder. That's the coffee grinder. And these are these cool um, stainless steel temporary counters that I bought. And you may notice we do have a KitchenAid blender down there, but it's got the stainless Husma jiggers that go with it, the paddles and stuff that we bought from he who will not be named, the Voldemort of stores who has the exclusive on selling those. Um, <clears throat> and then my booze block, which I absolutely love. Um, I actually got this one as a present for my husband. I have another one that I use for work, our electric kettle. This company had lead-free mugs, but doesn't anymore, so I don't recommend them anymore. Um, this kettle, we don't use it all anymore. There's my uh, Solid Technics pan. Um, and microwave, stainless, again, no ceiling. Um, stainless steel fridge, which we got initially so that we could lock it closed so children couldn't damage it. But what we didn't know is that lower bar makes it so little toddlers want to swing on it. So we've had this fridge now 15 years and it is very, very damaged. So we've just covered it with stickers just because. And then the plethora of ball jars and because this is kind of still a construction zone, we keep the HEPAVAC here. Um, and that's the lead-free door that the city grant paid to replace our leaded door that we had. For the first several years that we lived here in the house, we had actually no door. Um, and then I've been getting bottled water delivery because um, of my mobility issues since I broke my leg. And so um, that's one of those. I've been getting the bottled water delivery in glass. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else to share. Oh, those are the new vinyl windows that we got when we bought the house 15 years ago. We bought the house in February, had all this work done to make it look safe, including putting in new vinyl windows. And so those windows are 15 years old come April, which is when we moved in. And yes, there's a massive lead hazard in the middle of my kitchen. My kids don't go near it, so I'm not too worried. That's the ductwork. It's um, featured in another post. Uh, let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> oh, people, this is the, we have, since we're in a field kitchen still, 
with not all the walls and things. Um, we've got more of the kitchen in here, which is our dehydrator, bowls, my, what do you call that, um, rolling pin. And this is the little thing my husband invented to hold our ball jar lids. All of these stainless steels. Yeah, there's a spatula there that's silicone that I don't use and I haven't tested. And there, most of our stuff here is stainless steel. And um, there you will see our Corel bowls <clears throat> and plates and Corel serving bowls and a cast iron tortilla press and a lead free coffee who's a jigger and some clear glass and oh I love this this is the how do you pronounce it Bromolio Rocco these are my favorite I loved them 20 years ago and I love them again now um and it's funny I have um this uh Sarabachi that someone gave us um because I tested it at her house and she it was lead free and I was so excited to find a lead free one because I usually have lead and she gave it to me even though it wasn't um Leaded people usually just give me their leaded crap put in my museum, so I was like really, really excited about it. Lead free Sarabachi, so she was moved by that anyway. And like, this is one of my favorite spatulas, it's from the kitchen, you know, the restaurant supply store. It's really big and heavy duty for pancakes and stuff. And it, um, it was like five dollars or seven dollars. Whoops, and I love these little magnetic strips for hanging things. And then one of my favorite purchases ever that I wanted for so long it was this table, which I did get at another Evil Empire store, Voldemort store, store who will be not named. But the reason I got it is because my kids um, have a habit of throwing furniture and I need chair, I need tables where the chairs are attached. So we've had a bench in the kitchen until the leak happened. And um, that was destroyed already anyway. And now uh, we have this lovely real table without, um, without a need for chairs because the chairs are attached and that's the whole thing all right let's save mama's actual kitchen oh wait one more thing this is another solid technics pan which needs to be re-seasoned but i absolutely love you can see they have the made in the usa and multi-generational and has the batch on it which is so cool and um we have a combination of different pots and pans here there's a farberware one and a an art one and Martha Stewart every day. I don't have concern with lead for any of these. A nice stainless steel colanders. And I think that's my grandmother's cast iron pan. My great grandmother's actually. Um, and I don't see one of my other favorite things is a uh, is our pancake thing, but I can't find it. And I haven't been in the kitchen forever. So, I don't know where it is. Okay, that's the Lead Safe Mama kitchen tour. Yeah, I actually have all the things I tell you about. And I actually don't have the things that I tell you not to have. So, there. <laughs> um, m almost all of these things you can see on leadsafemama.com or shopleadsafemama.com, tamarubin.com. The shopping website has my recommendations with affiliate links of things to buy. And there are posts about pretty much everything in this kitchen. So if you're like, oh, what, what's that bread box? Just look up bread box using the search bar on the website. Okay, see you later. Thank you. Bye.